Which MLS player do you think can win the entire Squid Games? Ooh, okay. We're back to this now. Luis okay. Aguilar and his Squid Games obsession. So there might be those that, that haven't watched the Squid Game. And I'm not going give, to give it away, but just in general, it is a collection of games that human beings play with some very dire and serious uh, repercussions if and when uh, uh, you lose. But it, it requires not just physical ability, but more importantly, uh, mental ability. And, you know, like a lot of these games that we've seen with you know, on television, these reality shows, survivors and that kind of stuff, uh, you have to, you have to play the game. And, you know, sometimes people aren't what they say they are or what we think they are. Uh, let's see. Um, I think that someone like, let's see, uh, Dax McCarty, I think that he would be good at the Squid Games um, because I think he has a penchant for sussing out what he needs to do sussing out people i think he is an organizer and a leader but i also think that he's sly and that he, he would lull you into a false sense of confidence so that's one um let's see blanco sebastian blanco up there in portland um i, I think that he would you would underestimate him at your own peril and i think a lot of people would underestimate him and he would when all is said and done, be one of those last uh, people people standing. And sometimes, you know, in these types of games, it's not it's not the obvious, you know, uh, rel you know, obvious person relative to size or strength or something like that. Sometimes it's someone who's just very quiet, doesn't say a whole lot, and uh, but but is strategizing and scheming behind the scenes. So I'm thinking of uh, of somebody else out there that might be. Like, a, like people would underestimate, um, you know, someone like uh, Sasha Kleshin, who, by the way, scored a uh, penalty uh, for uh, the Los Angeles Galaxy this week, who people look at him as, yeah, he's just kind of an older guy, just finishing out in the twilight of his career, and he'll come on every once in a while. But he has an accumulated knowledge. Um, so, yeah, there's, there's, those are th uh, three guys right there. Uh, Do you have anybody? I've only seen the first three episodes, so all I can go off is, is who would be more adept to cut out a shape from a sugar cookie? Because that's the last <laughs> episode I, I watched. Um, it's honeycomb. It's not a sugar cookie. Uh, it's, whatever. A, it's a honeycomb. You like that clip? Well, my State of the Union podcast drops every week. Subscribe now on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts.